Hey, welcome to a new video. Superpowers don't just exist in our favorite comic books or movies. There's people in the world who have real superpowers. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Turkish Ezref Armagan has a unique story because he was born completely blind. It wasn't until he wondered why he was the only one who needed explanations about his surroundings that he figured out that not everyone was like him. When he was six years old, he refused to accept that he would never know what the world was like. With the help of his father, he began to learn concepts such as shapes, colors, and measurements. At one point, he got his hands on a butterfly made from paper so he could understand what insects looked like. And then he got an idea. He began to draw this shape. While still completely blind, he taught himself to master drawing with dimensions, perspectives, scale, and colors. At one point in time, he also used a technique to be able to see the lines he was drawing. Dean Karnazes is an ultramarathon runner from the state of California. It all started when he decided one day to run from school to home. What makes Dean so special is that he can run hundreds of miles without cramping. Usually, our bodies give a signal that we get tired or get muscular pain, but with Dean, that never happens. Some of his great achievements are that he decided to run a marathon in 2002 to the South Pole with a temperature below 25 degrees Celsius. In 2006, he ran no less than 50 marathons in 50 states on 50 consecutive days. And in 2005, he walked 563 kilometers without stopping. It took him 80 hours and 44 minutes without sleeping. You might think he'd be soaked in sweat, but Dean doesn't have this at all. He can reduce the lactic acid in his body so he doesn't sweat, and besides that, he also has an incredible stamina. This is Maya Gamada, a 9-year-old girl who loves yoga a lot and can read while blindfolded. She can also see colors, alphabets, and gestures with her eyes closed. Exactly how she does this is still unexplained. Some say that years of practicing yoga opened her third eye. In many cultures and religions, especially Hinduism and Buddhism, the third eye symbolizes a state of enlightenment. It's usually located in the middle of the forehead and is believed that it can be awakened through meditation. People who have opened their third eye can gain the ability to have visions, become clairvoyant, have out-of-body experiences, and physically see human energies and auras. This is probably why Maya could see beyond ordinary sight. She fortunately used her extraordinary gifts not to harm people, but to spread awareness of the benefits of meditation. Master Zhao is a Tibetan monk who has been in a lot of television programs like Ripley's Believe It or Not and Superhumans. There he demonstrated his amazing superpower called Qigong. He taught himself this to maintain and improve physical and mental health. Master Zhao has treated famous people, such as the Dalai Lama to Olympians, and thousands of people who travel the world to receive his treatment. The 79-year-old is incredibly respected in China. In one of his demonstrations, he shows how he raises his body temperature, including his palms through meditation and concentration. A 1982 Harvard study showed Tibetan monks can indeed do this. In this video, Master Zhao heals the hand of an interviewer who strikes a stone with his palm and the back of his hand several times as often as he can. The monk makes the swelling disappear with the help of his superpower. Monks have always been surrounded by a certain mystique, but a Discovery Channel presenter named Dan White wanted to see it with his own eyes. In his search for real-life magic, he traveled to Nepal, where he heard about a Buddhist monk. This monk was said to possess the power of floating. This is also called levitation. People who claim to be able to levitate have always attracted attention. It's said that 700 years ago, Marco Polo met Tibetan clerics who could levitate. Could this form of magic actually exist? Judge for yourself. After all, Dan White captured it all on camera. The monk asked for some space and said that his energy wouldn't work if he was too close to him. Then he was making meditating noises and started levitating. Do you believe this is real? Let me know in the comments. Kim Peek was an American man from Salt Lake City and experienced developmental problems during his childhood, and it turned out that he had abnormalities in his brain, which caused him to be diagnosed with savant. Having savant means you have a photographic memory for certain things. Kim had a phenomenal memory in 15 different subjects, including history, sports, and music. Kim had trouble dressing himself up every day, but on the other hand, his memory was perfect. He could read books in just one hour. He did this by reading both pages at the same time and remembering everything in detail where it was all about. To get to a certain destination, he didn't need Google Maps because Kim had once read all the directions and atlases. So he was able to calculate the quickest route to it for each place. 
He also learned the phone book by heart, so when you gave him a name, he knew exactly who the person living next door was. The screenwriter, Barry Morrow, found Kim's gift so special that he used it as inspiration for the 1988 film Rain Man. Ivan Stoyojakovic has attracted worldwide attention for his unusual ability to attract metal to his body. That's how he became known as the Magnet Boy from Croatia. Ivan can attract all kinds of metals, from coins to pants. According to sources, he can carry up to 25 kilograms of metal on his upper body. Interestingly, the heavier the object is, the stronger it sticks to Ivan. But that's not the boy's only amazing ability. He also appears to possess amazing strength and a healing gift. His family says that when Ivan was growing up, he was truly unusual. He started walking when he was barely 8 months old, and by the time he was 15 months old, he was rollerblading. And by the time he was 2 years old, he was riding a small motorcycle. However, scientists say that human magnetism has not yet been proven and that Ivan must just be a very sticky child, because his skin and sweat might have something to do with his gift. Liao Thao Lin is an 85-year-old man from Malaysia who is known as the Magnet Man. This is because he's able to stick metal objects to his body. He found this out at a young age when he read an article about a Taiwanese family who had the same power. The man is able to stick up to 36 kilograms in total to his skin, only 2 kilograms per object, and in addition, he also managed to pull a car in this way. Scientists tell us that Liu's super strength wasn't due to magnetism, because they found no magnetic field in his body, but his skin did have some kind of sucking effect. This trait also seems to be genetic, because three of the man's grandchildren also inherited it. The man uses his superpower not only for publicity, but also for welfare of society. For example, he performs in various charity events. But apparently, several people have this superpower, including Aaron Rockwar from India. This is Tim Freed, an extraordinary person from Wisconsin, USA, who spent over two decades carefully developing his skills to become a Venom Man. He is said to be one of the few people in the world who has systematically taken snake bites to make his body immune to their venom. It's all in the name of a greater good. He wants to sacrifice his blood in the search for a universal antidote. Snakes are estimated to kill more than 100,000 people a year. Tim has endured more than 200 snake bites and 700 injections of what is supposed to be deadly snake venom. To that extent, he's proven his immunity to two of the deadliest snakes in the world an inland tapin and a 3.5 meter long black mamba, which he's been bitten by a hundred times before. The venom of these snakes can stop your heart within hours, but Tim is immune to them and wants to make sure that people who are not immune can be helped with an antidote. Jyoti Raj is a free solo climber from the city of Chitraduga in India and is known as the real-life Spider-Man. In his hometown, he's also known as the Monkey King. He climbs the 17th century Chitragaga Fort without safety equipment and tries to entertain the local people and tourists. He can do this within a few seconds with his bare hands. He also has enormous strength to hold onto the wall at an angle of 90 degrees. He would have learned this ability when he was studying monkeys climbing trees, but he had also learned things from his favorite action movies. He has no fear at all, and his ultimate dream is to be recognized as the best climber in the world. Every day, he does several trainings to become faster, more flexible, and more powerful. His next goal is to climb the tallest building on Earth, the 828-meter-high Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Bella Deviatkina is only 8 years old, but already she can speak not one, not two, not even three, but eight different languages. In addition to her native Russian, she can also speak English, French, Chinese, Arabic, German, Spanish, and Italian. It seems that Bella inherited her mother's penchant for learning languages. In fact, her mother is a linguist, but Bella has surpassed even her mother's skills. The first languages she could speak were Russian and English, which her mother taught her every other day. When she was 10 months old, she started learning French, and by the time she was 3, she was speaking Chinese. She learned German when she met a German woman during her skating lesson, and she learned Spanish during her dance lessons. Then she learned Arabic and Italian through an app on her phone, and she doesn't plan to stop yet. The next language on her list is Japanese. It's no wonder she was awarded the Global Child Prodigy Award in 2020. In the next video, we see a mysterious man who manages to walk through a closed door without any problem. In the top left corner, we see that the video was probably shot by a security camera in 2016. The strange thing about it is, the date seems to skip from 2016 to 2019. We also see a homeless man camped outside the store who seems baffled how the mysterious man walks through the closed door. It looks like some kind of time travel. 
or maybe he has some kind of superpower. The video footage could also be edited, but because of the homeless man and the running time in the upper left corner, I wonder if this is the case. In my opinion, it doesn't look edited, but I could be wrong. The original video was supposedly originally uploaded by the store owner, and he asked people online how this could be possible. What do you think? Does this mystery man have superpowers, or is this video edited? Let me know in the comments. Meet Oleg Skavish, a man who can pull heavy things with just his teeth. His superpower name is Tugtooth, and he was born in the Ukrainian city of Lviv. With sheer willpower and powerful teeth, he has accomplished something very extraordinary. His most impressive achievement is that he was once able to pull a total of not one, not two, but five trams with his teeth. He pulled them with the help of a steel cable and then dragged them over a distance of 14 meters. But that's not his most incredible achievement. In fact, Oleg is said to have once pulled a ship with his teeth. And not just any ship, but a cargo ship weighing a whopping 614 tons. To the disbelief of spectators, he pulled the ship over a distance of 16 meters. When I was doing research on people with superpowers, I found a video of a 28-year-old man named Zhang Zhengkuang. He comes from the province of Chongqing in southern China and went viral because he could jump on water. The man had been practicing the Chinese martial art of Kung Fu for 18 years. In addition, he's very good at jumping, so he can easily jump his own length. So his idea was to combine Kung Fu with his jumping abilities. He's very athletic and warns people not to imitate him just like that. It took him hundreds of hours to get the hang of it. Zhang decided to open a Kung Fu training school in which he teaches students all about the Chinese martial arts. I don't know what I find more impressive, the fact that he can step on the water or that he can jump very high. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Redheaded boy Chase Bowman believes he was a Civil War soldier in his past life, and he has a lot of mysterious evidence that backs up his story. In fact, he described everything in great detail, from his rifle, uniform, the battlefield, and the hospital he was taken to when he was wounded, and even how he died. Most of these have been verified as real circumstances. Either it was all a coincidence, or Chase is really a reincarnated life. It all started when Chase was only five years old. During one Independence Day, when the sky was lit up by a fireworks show, he began to be so frightened from the explosive sounds that his parents had to take him to a hypnotherapist. According to Chase himself, he saw himself behind a rock with a gun in his hand on a Civil War battlefield. In his vision, he saw himself being killed. According to civil historians, the boy's descriptions are fascinatingly accurate. Do you believe in reincarnation or being born again in another body? Let me know in the comments. Isao Machi is a 46-year-old master of Japanese martial arts who emphasizes awareness and the ability to draw a sword quickly. He lives in Kawanishi in Japan and has a number of Guinness World Records to his name for his katana skills, including the fastest tennis ball cut by a sword at 820 km per hour and the most sword cuts from straw mats in three minutes. Isao's superpower is that he has an incredibly fast reflex and short reaction time. He even manages to hit a BB airsoft bullet with his sword shot. Oh, I heard it. it, but I didn't see it. This was way too fast for me, so here you can see it slowed down. No one has any idea how he does this, but according to a professor from California, he would react even before the shot is fired. This is definitely a superpower, and on the internet, he's known for these amazing skills that he can do with his sword. Amandeep Singh is a man who began practicing martial arts at the age of 10. Decades later, there's not much he hasn't accomplished. His daily routine fits a true superhero. He does 2,500 push-ups, lifts weights of 250 kilograms, and also does bench presses with weights of as much as 180 kilograms. He also practices throwing and taking punches, taking about 3,000 punches a day. He spends about six hours a day in the gym and runs six kilometers in the morning. This powerhouse has shown his strength in his attempt to break 50 different records and become the world's strongest man. Among other things, he's also lifted two motorcycles at once and broken 53 bottles in a row with his bare hands. So this is not really someone you want to pick a fight with. Earthbending is a fictional martial art from the animated series Avatar The Last Airbender. It would be based on a certain kung fu style called Hongga, 
Through geokinesis and earthbending, these people could manipulate the earth with their spiritual power. In the following video, we see a real person who uses this technique to get a stone out of the ground. According to many people, this would not be possible in real life, but unfortunately, I couldn't get more info about the video, so who knows? The original video was deleted from YouTube, so unfortunately, we can only guess if this was real or not. In the end, the guy manages to get the stone completely out of the ground, and then he stands on it. What do you think? Real or fake? At a local church in San Gonzalos, near Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, you will find an 8-year-old girl named Alani Santos, who performs miraculous faith healing. She is said to be able to cure serious illnesses, such as arthritis, HIV, and even cancer. Many videos show Alani touching sick people and singing to them, after which they get better. In one of the videos, she is said to have helped an old woman to walk again without her walking stick. But there's also other videos showing her healing a man who's been suffering from HIV for seven years. According to Alani, when she prays for someone, she feels the supernatural power of God flowing through her. Therefore, she says she'll continue using her God-given gifts to heal the sick. She added that when she grows up, she would like to become a doctor to continue her healing mission. Humans have always wanted to fly, and so we've created things like airplanes and jetpacks that are the closest to it. However, in March 2009, a video was uploaded to YouTube where a man is taking a walk in the woods with his dog. Suddenly, he comes across a child who appears to be floating in the air. On the ground next to it appears to be a woman who may be the child's mother. If you look closely, the child also seems to be changing direction while floating in the air. There also appears to be no branches or wires attached to her. As soon as the man's dog starts barking, the girl lands on the ground and runs away together with the woman. Since then, it's unclear what exactly is going on here. Do you believe there's a certain way that people can fly, or do you think this is nonsense? Let me know in the comments. You probably heard of people who have a nose that they can smell very well with. But do you know of the story of a superwoman who can smell Parkinson's disease? Meet Joy Milne, who has this unique gift. For years, she commented on her husband's wonderful musk smell. But when her husband came home one day, he had a smell that she described as a foul, strange smell, and she was the only one who could smell it. At the age of 45, her husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. To deal with this difficult time, the husband and wife joined a support group, where Joy discovered that everyone smelled like this. The doctors couldn't believe her claims until they conducted an experiment. Here they gave her a bunch of t-shirts of people with Parkinson's and without Parkinson's. To their shock, she was correct in all of her answers. She could even distinguish between early and late stages. Even after the tragic death of her husband, Joy hopes her gift will contribute in which similar conditions can be detected before it's too late. Jamie Creighton, better known as Canhead or the Human Sucker, has a peculiar characteristic that makes his skin function as suckers. This is said to be because his body temperature is higher than others, causing the pores in his skin to change. Because of this property, he can stick cans on his head without them falling off. This is so rare that doctors don't have a specific name for it yet. Jamie doesn't know why his skin does this, but he says he feels otherwise healthy. His talent also earned him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. He has the world record for wearing the most cans on his head. His strange quality would also make him less likely to get sick, less likely to age, and his wounds could heal much faster. In 2010, he was shown at the Ellen Show showing his talent or superpower. Since then, people and companies have been paying him thousands of euros to stick their brands on his head. The next boy from India has been nicknamed Electric Boy. His name is Tapak Jangra. He's 16 years old, and his superpower is that he can endure electricity of 11,000 volts without feeling any pain at all. That's enough electricity to power about 500 homes, or his entire neighborhood. He discovered his extraordinary gift when he tried to fix his mother's heating system. He accidentally touched a live wire and felt nothing. Still, it's best not to try this at home, as it is life-threatening. However, the boy attracted attention of many people because of this, who were very surprised. He claims that his unnatural gift is a special gift from God. Prem Singh is a 65-year-old man who's become famous on a back street in Old Delhi, India for his extraordinary ability. I advise you not to imitate this at home, because this chef actually uses his bare hands to grab fried fish from a vat of oil heated to 200 degrees Celsius. For an average person, this would cause blisters, burns, or more adverse effects. But Prem says he's been doing this for over 25 years without any problems. Prem says he inherited this ability from his father who could also do it. 
He's been in the news for his superpower, and his store became incredibly popular, and visitors come from all over the world to buy his fish and admire his superpower. In the future, the man hopes to expand his restaurant and continue the tradition of frying with bare hands. There's several stories circulating that monks can have real superpowers, but this next monk named Zhao Rui can even put a drill against his head without suffering a scratch. Needless to say, this is highly discouraged, and some people don't believe it's real. Zhao would spend his entire life learning martial arts, and he was quickly drawn to the dis and he was quickly drawn to the discipline it required. When he was 16, he ran away from home and joined the Shaolin Temple. At first, he only wanted to learn the art of Chinese kickboxing, but as you can see, he went much farther than that. Since then, he's become a kung fu master. At one time, he was a shy boy, but after being able to break literal bricks with his hands, he's said to have become much more confident. He's also able to lie on a bed with sharp spear points. The next kung fu master on this list, called Hoang Hu, has a special strength, namely his index finger. All his life, he's been a fan of Bruce Lee, and one day he found out that by using only his index finger, he could easily pierce a coconut. As you know, coconuts are very hard, so the fact that this man can do this is pretty amazing. Before he became famous, he showed his superpower on the streets of Malaysia and Singapore. In 2009, he was able to pierce four coconuts in 30 seconds, which gave him a Guinness World Record. A few years later, in 2011, he managed to do this again, but in just 12 seconds, he broke his old record. During an interview, the guy told that it's better not to do this at home. He's been specializing in this stunt for over 50 years, and doing shows all over the world. Throughout his career, he only broke his finger three times. He's also very happy that his finger is the reason he can raise and support his family. Like human magnetism, pyrokinesis is an unusual gift not yet recognized by science. Pyrokinesis is the psychic ability of a person to create and control fire by using only the mind. There's been many such cases, including an 11-year-old girl from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. According to locals, she could set things on fire with her mind, including a mattress, a ventilator, and even more equipment. Her father claimed that the girl inexplicably acquired this gift. Being completely baffled, they had her examined by doctors from different hospitals, but all the tests were normal. However, in another test conducted by a team of scientists from Hongbang University, something unusual was discovered that required further investigation. We couldn't find any more info about this, so I'm actually curious if the story's true or not. What do you guys think? The original uploader of the following video would claim that the footage is 100% real, and that it was broadcast on national television in China and Hong Kong. It seems that a camera crew is asking people questions on the street, until suddenly a man with a hood on his head appears in the picture, who has glowing blue hands. The cameraman notices this mysterious man and decides to film him. The man with the hood notices that he's being filmed and decides to run away. At first, you might think it's just fake, but there's a lot of people in the comments who argue with each other and say that the video footage is real. The cameraman decides to run after him, and the mysterious man with the hood suddenly teleports to the other side of the street. The video ends with the text that there are extraterrestrials and supernatural people living among us. Do you believe this too? Let me know in the comments. Did you know that 9 out of 10 people survive a lightning strike? However, they're often left with injuries or other health problems. But the story of a boy named Josiah Weidman is unique. He made it out alive with almost no injuries, and he believes this event gave him superpowers. One day, he was out skateboarding with a friend when he was struck by lightning. Josiah tells that he was thrown about three feet into the air. Eyewitnesses saw him bounce on his head, and then he landed on his back. One of the bystanders who saw this happen immediately called the hospital. Josiah says that all he can remember from the incident was a little heat and that his heart stopped for a moment. Fortunately, he was soon back in good shape, and the boy says that he therefore expects to get a superpower soon. Wolverine, also known as Logan, is a fictional superhero from Marvel Comics. You may have seen him in X-Men or The Avengers, for example. As far as I know, Wolverine was always a fictional story, but looking at this video footage coming from a security camera, I'm starting to have doubts. This video footage was allegedly shot in October 2009 at a hospital in Russia. The man walks into the doctor's office, hangs up his coat, and says he has a problem. The female doctor says he can show what the problem is, and at that moment, knives suddenly appear from the man's hands. The doctor stands up and is startled by this, because she's never seen anything like it before. The woman's reaction seems pretty authentic to me, but what do you think? Do you think this man is the real-life Wolverine, or is this an actor for some kind of TV show? 
In this video, we see two female students getting off a crowded school bus in Thailand. One of the girls, one of the girls appears to be having an altercation with one of the boys on the bus. They stand there arguing for a minute, and one of the boys decides to step forward, whereupon the girl's friend uses some kind of telekinesis to push the boy against the bus. Another boy who also got off the bus wants to run towards her, and he is too pushed against the bus. After the girl uses her superpower, she seems to get scared by this. She turns around and manages to push back some tables and chairs by using telekinesis. At one point, she starts screaming and the video ends. This, in my opinion, is a very mysterious video. Some people say it's fake, while others say it really happened. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you ask people what superpower they would most like to have, most would choose flying. After all, who wouldn't want to soar in the skies like a bird? It's never been officially proven that any person has ever been able to fly, although stories do circulate. The closest thing to flying that a person can achieve is probably when there's a lot of wind in the area. In fact, the man in this video manages to hover in the air for several seconds, but he needed some wind to do so. Wind, after all, is air that moves from areas to high areas of low atmospheric pressure. But because wind is actually air in motion, it contains momentum, which can be transferred to the object that the wind hits. Therefore, winds can push objects around or even make people fly. But they must be very powerful to do so. Wim Hof is a Dutch man better known as the Ice Man. He could withstand extreme cold meditation, breathing, and using his mind. In an episode of the BBC, a number of researchers are trying to find out how Wim got a special characteristic and how he can withstand extreme cold temperatures. One of the things Wim does every morning is sit in an ice cold bath for a few minutes. Athletes would also use this way regularly to improve their recovery from physical activity. In the year 2000, Wim set a world record by swimming an incredible distance of 57.5 meters under the ice. In 2007, he would have also run the fastest half marathon barefoot in ice and snow. In 2007, he wanted to reach the top of Mount Everest in his shorts and sandals, but he had to stop at an altitude of 7,400 meters because his toes were frozen. He did manage to reach Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, for which he also ended up in the Guinness Book of World Records. This is Hasna Muslamani, a girl from Lebanon who became famous for her crystal tears. According to the story, she could literally cry crystal tears. Hasna says that she was in class at school when she felt something fall from her eyes and when she looked, it was a transparent little object. After that incident, she felt a little painful sensation in her eyes. Her worried parents then took her to the hospital, where she amazed her doctor with more crystal tears. The doctor allegedly removed large crystals from her eyes. Several weeks passed, but Hasna continued to produce crystal tears, but the pain eventually went away. She cried about 10 crystals a day, and experts couldn't find any medical explanation for the case. However, locals believe that she's a miracle, and they would visit the girl to see her crystal tears. Frank Richards, also known as the Human Cannonball, was a performer with a superhuman belly. In the 1920s, Frank realized that because of his strong muscles, it was very easy to endure punches to his belly. For example, he had people jump on his belly. Then he started experimenting with a hammer and decided to push his limits further and further. This is very dangerous, but Frank was specialized and even trained with the world-famous boxer Jack Dempsey. His ultimate test was a performance that earned him his nickname, the Cannonball. The incredible thing was that he did this twice a day for years. This performance certainly gives him the title of Superhuman Superpower. He claims that this never caused any health problems for him. Frank even became so famous that he appeared in an episode of The Simpsons with a similar story. If you look at this little Chinese boy named Nang Yasui, you will see that he has beautiful, distinct eyes. His sky blue eyes alone are miraculous enough, but there's more. When his eyes are illuminated by a flashlight in a dark room, they appear neon green. Most amazing of all, he's able to see in the dark. Experts suggest that the boy underwent a genetic mutation. Interestingly, his father says that his eyes are sensitive to bright sunlight, but he has perfect vision in the dark. Nong first became famous for the beautiful color of his eyes, but when people heard about his night vision, reporters flocked to his home to document his gift. Daniel Browning Smith, better known as Rubber Boy, is an American contortionist, actor, stuntman, and entertainer. This man holds the title of the most flexible person in history. When he was only four years old, he was already inspired by snake people and had the motivation to become the best in the world. The extraordinary flexibility is a gift from his birth. But of course, over the years, he's also been able to develop his skills through daily training. 
He can do incredible tricks, like maneuvering himself through a tennis racket or even folding himself into a small suitcase. It's not for nothing that he has seven Guinness World Records to his name. Thanks to this superpower, he was able to make it his career, and he performs shows all over the world and can be seen in films, commercials, and TV programs such as Stan Lee's Superhumans. Ben Underwood was a very special boy who lost his eyes at the age of three. Thanks to the use of echolocation, he learned to see again. Echolocation is the ability to know where objects are by making clicking sounds with his tongue. When he does this, he gets an echo back, allowing him to go wherever he wanted. The echolocation allowed him to identify things around him, and nothing was impossible for him. Several blind people have learned to use this method, and it's also known that a number of animals use it, including dolphins and bats. Ben would have also developed this technique at such an extent that he could do almost anything a person with eyesight could do. So he didn't need a guide dog or a blind stick. He could ride a bike, play a video game, and play basketball with his friends. Unfortunately, Ben is no longer with us, but he has become a huge inspiration for many people. This is Raj Mohan, better known as Electro Man. This man has shown several times that he's immune to electricity. A power surge can be very dangerous, and even fatal to the average person. In extreme cases, organs can stop working, including the heart. Raj, however, survives this on a regular basis. He's also sometimes called the human conductor, and even manages to make light bulbs burn. He's also tried it with small devices such as iron plates. What superpower would you like to have? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.